The JQ Awards Brunch is not only a celebration of the important work that we do every day, but it's time to recognize our growth and progress. This is the largest awards brunch in the organization's 14-year history. This past year alone, JQ implemented over 90 groundbreaking programs transforming more than 13,000 lives. People who are LGBTQ and Jewish need special resources and support. There are so many people out there who need help. I was one of those people when I moved back from Israel to Los Angeles. I have a son who's 19 years old who's transgender and it was really important to me that he was able to be a part of a tradition. I think that the work that they do in both the Jewish community and in the queer community is really incredible and inspiring. I realized that I'm trans when I was 13. I was attending a diversity day panel of LGBT people at the all girls school I attended. For all of us to come together and to support one another no matter what, no matter what we believe in, no matter what our sexual orientation is, no matter what the color of our skin is, that helps the community, not just our community, but the global community. We have so often been split at the root that we've had to choose being Jewish or being LGBTQ to get a resource. I would like to thank uh, JQ for everything you do and for creating this huge support system for people like me. The JQ Helpline is the first of its kind, a completely free, confidential support line for LGBTQ and allied Jews and also our friends, family and community members that need additional support and help in the sphere of LGBTQ equality. When I came out of the closet uh, in sixth grade, JQ uh, just launched JQSA and uh, I was so happy to join. And then later my mom was so inspired that she decided to join the board of members. I work with a lot of organizations in the nonprofit world and I am continually amazed about the dedication of our staff, the sophistication of our staff, and really about their passion and their involvement in what they do. And I'm so grateful to be a part of it. Usually during the week I'm like, how am I supposed to hide my sexuality and how am I supposed to hide who I am? And then when I hear, oh, we're doing something for JQ, I'm like, I can be myself again. I think all around this country, we need the kind of training that JQ can provide, both for Jewish day schools and for communities on how the Jewish community can better serve a diverse group of individuals. It's grown from the small organization that uh, social activities for, for people in the 20s and 30s uh, to the way it is now. It's really a resource for anybody who is looking for help in any way that you define that, whether it be uh, they're in crisis and they need someone to talk to right then and there, or if they're looking for a referral, if they're looking for just a friendly place to go for Shabbat. I love that JQ provides us with the tools we need to be supportive of our children. It's not enough for us to just create community for ourselves. It's also important for us to be role models in the community to make sure that young LGBTQ Jews see that there's a place for them in the Jewish community when they grow up. Most important for us is that JQ as an organization is able to reach more Jewish hearts and minds across Los Angeles, eventually nationally and hopefully around the world. Our work in institutions across Los Angeles have completely transformed inclusion and equality for those organizations and I would love to see that grow to its fullest extent.